Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is a uh, lesson uh, 61 and it is uh, about seismic analysis of pile draft foundation using California uh, earthquake data in 1990 uh, in Plaxus uh, 3D. So if you remember, we uh, talked about the seismic analysis uh, of mud foundation in previous example, and we talked about uh, the key consideration uh, when uh, applying earthquake analysis in uh, Plaxus uh, 3D in uh, details in previous example. Uh, so in uh, this example, we will use uh, the example uh, from lesson uh, 60 except that we are going to add a pile foundation uh, so in previous example we just had a mud foundation and basement walls so in this example we will have a piled uh, mud foundation or piled uh, raft foundation so i will use uh, the same example as a previous i will not uh, change any uh, materials or uh, boundary conditions all of uh, uh, these features will uh, remain the same except that I will add uh, some uh, pile foundation to the mud and we will do the seismic analysis again and we will see the difference so I will uh, open uh, lesson uh, 60 okay uh, this is uh, from a previous example so i will uh, copy this the title of uh, this uh, lesson and i will, so I will uh, save this uh, project under a different name i will click on file and save project as uh, we will uh, save this project in lesson uh, 61 and click on save so right now uh, this is going to be lesson uh, 61 so uh, the only thing we will uh, add a pile foundation and uh, we will run the analysis again because uh, there are a lot of data that's why it takes some time until it saves the project under a different name okay uh, right now this is a uh, lesson uh, 61 as i said we will not change the materials or uh, boundary conditions and mud foundation and loads so the only thing i will add a pile foundation to uh, this mud so that's why i click i clicked on structures and right now let me uh, hide the surface load and also i will hide this uh, soil volume and uh, uh, first of all let me define a new material for uh, the pile foundation so we will use a pile foundation as an embedded beam okay as we can see right now we have a group of uh, pile below the mud foundation and uh, we also have a surface load and basement walls and interfaces so we defined uh, the uh, boundary conditions for uh, earthquake analysis uh, everything is okay uh, we can uh, proceed to mesh So, 
uh, we have to make a refinement for uh, these uh, embedded beams also we will click on here and select embedded beams we will uh, use a, a 0 0.5 as a coarseness factor so if uh, this one is 1 please change it to 0 0.5 and uh, after that we can generate a mesh we click on generate mesh and again I will use a medium mesh in this example and click OK So after generating a mesh, we can uh, proceed to uh, stage construction. Right now, uh, everything is uh, OK and ready for calculation. So we save uh, the project and we uh, start uh, calculation. So again, uh, as we know, it may take a very long time uh, to finish all uh, calculation uh, phases. That's why I will pause a video and come back again when it is being finished. Okay, after uh, a long time, the calculation is uh, finished, as we can see in here. Uh, so uh, right now we can uh, view the calculation results. So I click view calculation results. So as a previous example uh, for uh, seismic analysis of piled mat foundation or piled raft foundation similar to previous uh, uh, examples uh, we we have to check uh, these uh, results from uh, earthquake analysis so as we can see in here this is a deformed shape of uh, the mud foundation and uh, pile after uh, the earthquake we can see how earthquake affect the pile foundation okay if i uh, deactivate or hide the surface slope we can see this is a deformed shape of mud foundation and uh, pile foundation under the effect of earthquake on uh, at uh, time 20 second so actually this is not a true uh, scale uh, because it is uh, scaled up to a thousand mo uh, more than bigger than the uh, real uh, scale so uh, the first uh, thing I want to check is the displacement at the center of the mud foundation versus time. Uh, I will click on curve manager and click on new. So in X direction I will uh, select dynamic load. In uh, Y direction I will select the point at the center of uh, the mud and I will select a, a displacement in X direction. So we can see uh, this is a displacement versus uh, time of a piled raft uh, foundation. We can see that the maximum displacement is about 1.4 uh, centimeters, which is uh, less than the previous example because uh, when we have a pile, the stiffness of the foundation is increased and it. Uh, uh, and it, it, it has uh, less uh, displacement uh, compared to the mud foundation only. Okay, the other uh, things we can uh, check the maximum acceleration or response uh, spectral acceleration. For example, if I uh, click on the curve again and if, if I uh, click on uh, response spectral analysis uh, and I choose dumping ratio as a 5 and max period as a 10 uh, second we can see that uh, this is the uh, response uh, spectral analysis uh, of uh, this pile trough foundation under this uh, earthquake also we can uh, check if I click on Fourier and I select uh, the point at the center of the mud foundation 
and uh, I if I select it, acceleration in X direction we can see that the maximum acceleration is about uh, 0 0.9 uh, actually it is bigger compared uh, to the previous example also the dominant uh, frequency is uh, bigger uh, in the previous example the frequency was about uh, 3 hertz but in this example it is about uh, uh, it is about uh, more than uh, 15 is about uh, uh, 16 uh, this is uh, because uh, when we have a pile in uh, foundation it uh, uh, pile trough foundation has a higher stiffness than uh, the raft foundation alone that's why uh, we uh, the frequency is uh, higher and uh, higher acceleration uh, value as well okay we can uh, also check the forces in uh, pile foundation or mud foundation so for example if I double uh, if I click on uh, control shift and double click we can we can check the forces in uh, this pile for example I am interested in uh, normal uh, force and uh, actually this uh, forces also uh, changes uh, with the earthquake uh, time so we can uh, switch between uh, phases if I want to check uh, what is uh, for example for example what is uh, the pile uh, force at uh, 10 second and uh, uh, pile uh, force at 15 or 20 second or uh, 5 second I can uh, check in here we can see the uh, pile force or no re pile reaction is uh, changed okay uh, the other uh, things also I want to uh, mention uh, in uh, this example is uh, create creating animation for example uh, we can uh, create anima we can create animation uh, how this uh, soil model and uh, pile foundation and mud foundation moves and displays uh, when uh, this earthquake happens so uh, versus time I mean how uh, displacement happen versus time so uh, first of all we have to uh, choose a first if I click on mesh and material if I don't like this one and first of all we have to uh, select a uh, suitable uh, scale for example I will uh, select 500 and apply and after that we create a file we click on file and create animation and I'm just interested in uh, earthquake uh, this one uh, this is animation speed it can be 2, 1 or uh, 3 and also where we uh, want to save this animation for example if I uh, click on uh, desktop and click on save and we can uh, start uh, creating animation so actually this also uh, probably take uh, some time that's why I will uh, pause a video now so it is about to uh, finish creating uh, the animation okay it was uh, finished right now we can uh, see 
the animation how this soil model and uh, mud foundation uh, moves uh, with the earthquake uh, time so we can see as you can see in here so you can also increase uh, the scale uh, more than uh, 500 but I think uh, in this case 500 is uh, reasonable because uh, when you increase more uh, when you increase the scale more uh, for example 1000 or 2000 two it may uh, give uh, unreasonable uh, uh, graphical so I think it is okay now if uh, if you want to if you want to uh, see the pile movement how pile deforms uh, under earthquake uh, uh, versus time we should uh, click on mesh and uh, uncheck the material and again uh, we we can uh, click on view and uh, create animation in this case we can see how the pile also displays and deform under the earthquake Okay, this was uh, for this tutorial. I hope it was uh, clear and useful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.